Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a new feature that from UChat that is called tickets. So we all know that UChat is a chatbot platform. Okay, so we are based on conversations. So in the real business scenarios, there may be the case that the um, the conversation cannot be solved um, very fast. Okay, it may involve different department, different team, or it may take some time. Okay, so in that case, you know these tickets, we we also call it a list that is designed to manage your uh, board users or to track the progress of the task. Okay, this feature is uh, is internal. Is designed for the internal use. So basically, it's supposed to be you are supposed to be using internal with your teammates, with your uh, teams. Okay, and they can use this list to create the tickets, to do list, bug report, and all the other cool stuff. Okay. So, uh, what's the price for this ticket feature? Okay, so the price for that is is twenty dollars per month. For you chat, so this is an extra add-on. If you need it at your you chat domain, and you need to contact you chat support to purchase, okay, we will send you a link to purchase. After it's done, we will enable that manually for your workspace. And for the partners, the price will be ten dollars per month. This is also selling as an add-on. Uh, you can easily add up to any workspace and your own custom domain. Okay, so and also this is free for all partners main workspace. Okay, so you just log in and you should be able to see the ticket and the workspace settings. Okay, that is for you to use and you can test the features. You can record the videos. If any of your customers need this feature, you can add that for them. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So if you um, log in your uh, partner main workspace you can go to white label settings and you can go to workspace and in so first of all it's only available for the paid plans okay if it's a free plan it's not available um this is the paid plan and if the customer want to purchase this ticket feature um you can click here and select this ticket list add-on in the drop down so the cost price is ten dollars per month, and you can also you can you know also enable the add-on credit billings, and then they needed to purchase the points and using those points to purchase these add-ons. Okay, so let's say I click this. Uh, I think I have the points. Yeah, so uh, you can see then this list feature will be enabled here. Okay, so that's how you can add this, um, you know, enable this feature for our partners. And um, yeah, let's continue to other um, intro in introduction. And now in workspace settings, you will find these tickets. You will find the settings here. Okay, and now um, we already cover this setup in workspace settings, ticket, create list. So now we will talk about how you can create your first list. So as you can see, I uh, will create a list. Okay, if you click that, you can choose an um, you know uh, emojis. You can give it a name, live demo, um, refund process. Let's say that. Okay, and you can put the status live, or it can be a draft. Okay. Uh, we will put it live and we have a few um, we have a few um, default templates you can use and of course you can easily create your own template okay uh, we will use this one deal tracker and click create you can see this is a new list we created okay so in here uh, usually there are a, a couple of the fields okay um, um, there are a couple of the fields you can um, use to collect the informations and after that you can create the uh, tickets or you can create the task okay how how you call it so basically we allow different type of the fields okay you can see we have the text 
we have the uh, decimal we have the uh, rating rating this is um, uh, I think this is uh, yeah we have a rating um, you can use okay uh, you can choose different colors we also have the select type this is also a text type and you can add your own user custom fields okay you can see it's just we have a you know a fixed numbers of the type of the user custom fields you can add um, for example we have select we gave you five slots uh, for the dates you have two slots um, for the numbers you have two for the decimals you have two and for the ratings you have two for the normal text type of the user custom fields you have totally have I think seven or something and this is what we offer for now if in the future you need you know you need more fields we can add more okay and you can add user custom fields you can add custom fields and also you can use the system fields we offer we have okay so this is the system fields we have email phone lead source status development department interest markets and you can add all the fields you want to collect the information and now we, you can also choose whether you want this visible when you create the list or you want you know um, you want it visible to the list or it's a mandatory fields you want to collect the information okay you can make your choice of there of here and of here you can move them up and down you can adjust the order okay so now um let me see we will just click this one click this one and and close okay and this is the fields and um, here views so this views is just a uh, you know um you can see we have different type of the views it can be a table <coughs> and it can be a board okay and also very cool is you can add your own view so this view is for example i can uh, this is my own view i can add my own view here and you can select the layout whether you want a table layout or you want a board layout you can select different layout and also you can select the uh, different fields if you want to display okay and over here you can see uh, you can move them up and down so you can you can totally adjust the order and you can make the uh, the fields you want visible okay so i will keep it that and also for the select type of the fields you can actually group them okay uh, so if you have a status uh, that is um, you know select you have different drop downs and you can actually group them differently okay so that is a group by and you can sort by um you know numbers um you know um what is it? priority these is stars so as long as it's a metric you can order uh you can sort by that okay if it's a date time fields you can also sort by that and also you can add your own filters so um, this is the available uh, value that is from this list and below that is all the system um, system fields you can filter by you can create your own filters based on that okay so um, we will keep it this as this we will group by stage so we will create a table let's say and you can see it's already created like this okay if we have some values um, I don't think they will show up here here is just an overview okay it doesn't pull the actual data um, but uh, if you go to um, go to the flows it will actually fill those data so let's um, that's the that's the part that we talk about uh, view we had talked about the different fields now let's talk about the second part how to use it okay so um, there are quite a few uh, places you can use so first of all is when you have enabled this you can find these settings in here the top navigation bar there is a live chat click tickets okay and the tickets will show up in here 
and then here is how you can see all the tickets you need to manage okay so you can see uh, here you can, see you can switch to your list okay and in each of the list this is the view this is the view that you create okay it have different uh, you know boards and table you can use and also uh, that is a very cool view that is assigned to me so that you can fill out all the tickets that is assigned to you and if you click this edit the view you will actually see you know what the filters set up for this view and you can see uh, this filter is very uh, simple it's basically assign me is the current user so whoever log in um they can see that this is assigned to them okay so that it doesn't need to uh, choose the actual team member we will automatically recognize who log in and this is the tickets that is assigned to you okay and also here there are a couple of the other filters you can um, you can you can use um, you can see this is the um, basically all the variables that is available in the current list okay and you can sort by that and you can sort by different um, different values different conditions you can filter that out okay and you can also use the system fields we have and that will be you know um, search across all the all the bots you have in the current workspace okay you can also filter by different bots um, and because the tickets is the workspace level of the feature okay so even the user from different boards they can all create the tickets at the same place okay and you can also search by the name and here is a reload and here you can manually add those tickets if you want okay you can manually add the features this is the values we actually create okay and some of the values is mandatory uh, it's also available in the list settings and you can actually for example uh, this is the help request help with the refund and the priority we just select the medium details um, we found um, purchase okay you can assign to me you can assign to different team member and you can give a different um, you know a different status okay and then you just save and it will show up in here and um, this is um, this is one of the place that you can you know uh, let me switch to another different boards Okay, you can also manually move them. It will be the similar like the boss feature we have. Um, it's very cool. And that is one place you can see. Okay, another place is in, let's say I have a live chat. Okay, let's find a bot user. And uh, let's find a live chat user. And in the right sidebar of the user, you will find that is a tickets. Okay. And you can actually, you know, in the conversations, if there is some issue you want to create the tickets, you can actually create the tickets right over here. You can select which list you want to create and put all the informations uh, like this, and then it will be create the new tickets. Okay. So I forgot to mention that in these tickets, uh, there's a comments. So if you have any updates, you can add in the comments and then you know your teams they can <laughs> check the comments so that you uh, so that the team can be on the same page okay so that's the comments and you can also that is the second place that you can find it in the left chart uh, right sidebar okay the number three place you can use is we actually have an action in the flow builder you can use okay so let me show you if you go to the flow builder click edit the flow and if you right click in the actions and in the advanced action you can find that is a ticket api okay so select that um there are a couple of the actions we have uh you can you can you know you can get the list all the list you have okay we have three lists you can get the list id of here 
and then you can create a ticket. Okay, you can create a ticket right over here. You need to be, you need to know which list ID you need to use. And then you just fill up the title, description, assignees. We have a few descriptions over here that uh, if you want to assign to a particular agent, you need to know which agent ID, agent ID you want to use. Okay, use zero if you want to leave it unassigned. And there are a couple of select type of the user custom fields. Uh, for example, the status or the other, you know, drop down options. Uh, in that case, you will need to first um, to list the fields options. Okay, so for example, uh, I have this, um, let's say sales leads five, the list ID is five. Okay, and because we have, we allow five different type of the uh, select um, custom fields, um, custom fields you can use. And for example, the first one is uh, is storing the different status progress. Okay, and then you need to know exactly uh, which value, uh, which label, which value you need to use. And then this will be saved. This will be used when you create the tickets. Okay, uh, you need to put the values in here. And also you can update the tickets. Okay, uh, you need to get the ticket ID and all these values you can put into the update value and also you can you know get the tickets you know get the more details about the tickets um, and you can use delete tickets to delete and also you can add comments so add comments you just put the ticket id and add your own comments and add your own updates it will update that particular tickets so that is the actions we have and also we have the ticket trigger okay it's uh, you can go to the automations go to triggers and click new trigger and you will find these two triggers okay one is ticket create so uh, you can uh, listen to the trigger from different list okay and you can save the whole ticket um, content into a json fields and so that you can use that in the flow and also you can save that ticket ID uh, into a particular user fields. Okay, that's something you can use. Um, ticket created. We also have another trigger is called the ticket update so that it can listen to all the updates about a particular tickets. And we also have a narrow down. Okay, so if you want to listen to any select value. So for example, I want to listen to all the status is done. Okay. And then, um, you know, um, the tickets from this list, if the status is changed to the done, and then you can listen to that trigger. Okay, uh, you can save the ticket ID, you can save the whole data into the JSON, and start your own automation. Okay, so that is, um, you can use the tickets action in the flow builder. You will also have the ticket trigger, okay, that you can use. And this is only the first version of this new ticket feature. We still have a lot of things um, uh, we need to do. And also we are welcome, you know, if you are using this, you can always give us the feedbacks. We would really appreciate to improve this feature with your help. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.